I feel like I'm interviewing you now. Well, I'll interview you. Um, <laughs> okay. Nicole, no. Yikes. tell us some really intimate and personal <laughs> things about your uh, private life. I knew you were going to do that. How's your marriage? Just stop it. Uh, we met in our 20s, Hugh. Yes, we did. I would say, was it that dinner at the Ivy in London? Yeah, I that's remember a dinner with you. Yes, and you and were Tom with Cruise. Liz. Yeah, yeah, and Elizabeth Hurley. And, and my sister. My sister was there. Yes, and, your sister um, with whom you spoke in a secret language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you which you were that. very intrigued by. I still am um, to this day. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, and you couldn't understand a thing. And we spoke for quite a long time, right? And you couldn't understand anything. And that was the Not first time. And then, and then we sort of crossed paths. And then I think there was something where um, I really wanted to, I think I really wanted a role in, oh, maybe I was going to do a small role in Love Actually at one point, or I was going to do- Were you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, Which well, part? I can't remember. It was not a big role. And I really wanted the role that um, Julia Roberts played in um, Notting Hill. Did you? That's yeah, I did. But I wasn't well known enough and I wasn't talented enough. But um, yeah, be so finally, yeah. finally our paths aligned. And, um, yeah, we had a lot of parties and uh, sort of award things and things like that. I remember always seeing you. And then I feel we like... A photo. We had... What about that weird photo that you showed me? What? There was a photo that you showed me of us all at some... some I thought it was the Golden Globes or somewhere and, and I couldn't remember where it was taken. Don't you remember seeing that? Yeah, vaguely. And I, I couldn't remember it. Yeah. My, my memory's a bit short. You smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> so, Yeah. <laughs> Con constantly stoned. Yeah, yeah. I wake up and I that was a, split. It was an issue on our filming. Um, but <laughs> oh, don't you? It's now going to go down. No, no. So. You no, cannot not true. Not true. say anything in jest. No, it's that that was a joke. It's not true. Um, yeah, and then I always feel like we worked Can't together because me? we were in Paddington. <laughs> so everyone always says, "Yes, we were the two yeah. villains." We're gonna we're gonna have our own film as the two villains. We'd actually be, that would be kind of entertaining. I agree with you. I, I regret that we didn't put Paddington in The Undoing, just in the background of one shot, when you got the extras <laughs> passing by and Fifth, Fifth Avenue, Paddington just should have walked across the shot. <laughs> While you and me are having a big fight about something. <laughs> this is what rich, entitled people do when threatened. They conceal the ugly truths to protect themselves. And they think they can get away with it. Susanna Beer um, came and the minute she read the script, she said, we have to get Hugh. And I said, he'll never do it. He doesn't like working. Is, is, is that right, Hugh, or do you like working now? No, I hate it. I fear it. Yeah. I dread it. So he doesn't like working. I said he'll never do it. And she goes, hmm, I'm in her Susanna way. Hmm, I feel like he will. He'll do it. I will talk to him and I will make him do it. So is that what happened, Hugh? Uh, I, think, I think so. I was amazed <laughs> that, that she wanted me because I ruined her life, you know, about 10 years ago when we were developing a film together and... I, I kept saying the script doesn't work and she kept saying, I think it does. And in the end, I walked away. And so when did I, you walk I, away? At the, la at the last minute? Sort of. But I always said that I might, but no one believed me. And then I did. Right. Anyway, it was very, it was very ugly. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, so I was amazed that she came to me, uh, but also, you know, flattered. Christ. She's uh, uh, a brilliant director. Her Danish films I've always loved. Then there's you dripping with your Oscars. Then there's, you know, David Kelly. It was a very high pedigree thing. Uh, yeah, but you still, still danced. You still danced around a bit. I did. I did. I did. I had issues partly. <laughs> I think it was You're hard to get. With... Well, it's hard to get anyone if you only give them one script out of six. So you don't know what's going to happen and what's going to happen to your character. You I, I, think, I think I was us. entitled to be difficult about that. Yeah. Yeah. 
But you weren't difficult. You were never difficult. You're just in, extraordinarily talented and intelligent. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you. Thanks, Nicole. That's very nice. <laughs> so now, and what fun, else and about? really fun, may I add? Which, when you're doing something like this, I think like we, this, we really almost good. had fun some days. I think we did. I think we did. Well, I had I, fun. I almost miss it. Yeah. Yeah, no, and also now with everything that's happened, really missed it. You, you had your family with you, which was, I think, very sensible. I thought, oh, this is a fantastic yeah. opportunity to get away from my screaming children. So I left everyone in London. And then as soon as I got to New York each time I came out to film, I missed them so much. It was, it was awful. You were miserable. I remember almost every scene I acted in made me cry. I remember Susanna Beer having to say, Hugh, it's, you're only asking for a cup of coffee, so maybe tears are not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. And you would be flying back and forth. New York, yeah, yeah, London, New crazy York, London. Jet lag. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing? And why, why did you choose just that you just felt like I, they were going to come at one stage, but we were there for so long. I mean, it took five months to shoot this thing. And we shot the whole thing out of sequence, which was also pretty... I mean, talk about having to be rigorous with the story and with the performances, right? I found that really hard. Yeah, that was tricky. I love the way in which it um, twists and turns. I love um, the way in which you never know what's going to happen next. Oh, God. All right. Why the tie, hmm? Not another funeral. It's the turd's idea. And no, not all my patients die anyway. Oh, why are you so dressed up? What's his name? Ladies' tea. Planning a fundraiser. I mean, you've done a lot of very serious acting in your life. I haven't. <laughs> I've been a bit more worried about sort of making silly little jokes work. And I don't know which is worse or more stressful to, to try and make, keep something light when you're, you know, in the 14th hour of filming in some location where you're losing the light and everyone's in a panic. Or whether it's trying to summon up emotions. It was watching Meryl Streep when I did that Florence Foster Jenkins thing and she said, you know, I made a promise to myself I'll never do an emotional scene where I haven't actually got myself into the emotion first. I thought, Christ, that's a big ask. But I, <laughs> I did try. And you do it. You definitely do it. I do it, yeah. I, I've, I finished the thing um, shattered, actually. I sort of staggered off and and went, gosh, I, I, I found, I did find it really taxing emotionally. That was me. Um, but we were able to uh, share the load. I mean, we had some fantastic actors, right? We should talk about yeah, some maybe. of the great actors in our show. Yeah. Lily. Everyone. Lily Rabe. Edgar. Matilda. Yeah. Matilda was brave. She showed up. Astonishing. Right? Do you know what my wife said? And in the first week. The yeah. Sorry. All right, well, they are all yes, same. no question about that. But my wife, what she noticed, she said, well, they're all so hot. And I think that's either a, a Susanna thing or maybe it's you as a producer. But she fancied every man and every woman in it. That's Ed good. Oh, yeah. he's hot. That... Right, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, hang on, what about me? That's the, 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 the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're, you, you've been moved out. Yeah. <laughs> we just got lucky. We got lucky with our cast. But I'm glad that your wife thinks they're all hot. I'll pass that on. She loved the whole series and she hates everything I've ever been in. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith loved the whole series and is brutally honest. So that's good. That's the he's other thing, honest. isn't it? Oh, he's brutally honest, yes. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. He'll fall honest. asleep. <laughs> He didn't fall asleep. He was, he just kept saying, when can I watch the next one? And I kept saying, well, not tonight, not tonight. And kept begging for another one, which was kind of nice being able to have him. No, but don't you worry sometimes that you're raising your son in a bubble? I thought that was the whole essence of modern parenting, isn't it? Keep them protected from reality for as long as possible so that when they finally emerge, they can't cope and end up self-harming. I was excited to see you every day. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, likewise. likewise. I was. <laughs> I really enjoyed you it. Very, and I remember. Yeah, tell you what you are. You were very uh, keen that we, in scenes, that we really talk to each other. And that's very good for me. 
because sometimes I disappear up my own ass. And uh, I think you're very, very good at making us connect. So that was, Yeah, that was well, it. I like you. Um, yeah, because there was something very relaxed, obviously, because we have, um, because I'm Australian and you're British, we have that yes. um, similar, I don't know, there's just a, set, a sense of humour that, that um, I don't know, it just is, it's good chemistry. Between takes, I quizzed you on every detail of your private life, past and present, and you were amazingly forthcoming. I remember because I tweeted everything afterwards. Great. Well, it'll yeah, be going it'll be, in your book, right? Yeah, it'll be going in my book. Didn't we? Yeah. We talk. Yes, I did. I trust yeah. you. I yeah. don't know. I told you, you I like it. you, so I opened up to you. But that's also part of working together. I think when you really click, then you sort of sit and you do talk and you share things and you open up. You're, you're incredibly honest. I mean, you yeah. say, I'm always like, you, shush, you can't say that. I know, I know, I know. But also, I just said, see, I really miss that. I remember on this film, for the first time in years, I had no phone. I, I left my phone in the hotel every day. And so yeah. it was like the old days, I actually chatted to people. It was really yeah. nice. That's how yeah. things used to be. It's astonishing. And by the end, I never had a lot the of phone. friends. What's that? I never had the phone. Did you not? No, maybe you didn't. No, I don't yeah. ever have the phone on the set. I can't. It's you don't have it in the trailer either. Uh, I have it in the trailer because of the kids, but I'll never bring it on the set. I mean, there's some people that sit on the set with their phones. I know, between takes. Yeah, but, it's, but I found it also very nice not even having it in the trailer. It just wasn't around, it wasn't a thing, it couldn't get me. So nice, that's how life should be. I felt like blood flowed back into my body. And I would love to go um, on another adventure with you someday. Yeah, let's do it. Paddington mm. 3. <laughs> Here we come. Yes, actually. We'd, we'd, really, we'd, we'd get the bear. We would, we would get the bear. The bear wouldn't survive. That, wouldn't, that, would, be, that would not do well. The film, the film would flop. If it begins with the death of the bear at our <laughs> oh, Right. It's dismembered and devoured. Oh, God. 